Hello everyone, this is Dumb Game Monday, and I am Kyle W. Bosman. <laughs> it's true, it's W. Uh, don't know why he said it right there, but it just came out. Uh, dumb Game Monday is the program in which we try to learn to love a dumb game. We try to uh, embrace it for all that it is. We try to use... I don't know why I have these on still. Um, try to use that innate ability we had as children. Um, oops, okay. Um to love any game that was handed to us because we couldn't go out and buy our own games. We couldn't really choose our games. Most of our games were gifts. And so uh, that's a kind of cool thing. You know, you love the games and you grow up and you're like, man, that game sucked. I'm cool now. Uh, but there's still things to like in all games. Uh, Marcelo Laborda, nine months in a row. Um, <laughs> I like all the theories. I see some good ones in there. Um... <laughs> Let's uh, let's get started. Let's start the stream. Um, and obviously, I don't know. I don't know if I should talk about it or not. Um, I just it always feels weird on a night like tonight. Um, shortly after uh, a, a tragic terrorist attack uh, uh, in Manchester, it just feels weird. You know, it feels weird to turn into a goofy goober and just play video games and act like a goofy goober. But uh, I recognize that's my role, you know what I mean? I recognize that in your life, that I'm not that. I'm an escape from that. And so, uh, you know, I don't want to be insensitive or anything, but I'm, I'll do my best to be a goofy goober. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, that's what that is. Um, let's start with fan art. Let's, um, we need to laugh. Yeah, exactly. And Tr work as hard as we can not to hate, right? Um, so, uh, speak <laughs> speaking of work is working as hard as we can not to hate, um, part of the initiative of Dumb Game Monday, of learning to love a dumb game, uh, has been making fan art. And I think that's essential. It's really, it's, uh, you're trying to get inspired by this thing and you're trying to create and i think it does create an intense bond with a game even one like prism um and so this week my art depicts a really cool scene from the game last week this is what i mean last week in the game last week in stolen uh something happened that i've never done in a video game ever and so it is sometimes it's worth playing these dumb games to find these moments uh <laughs> Anya was running running along in a level. Uh, we were just progressing as we normally would. Uh, Breeze, the number one villain of this game, uh, you know, like our bad guy, our, our rival, because uh, Killian's the villain. So yeah, Breeze is the one who will probably survive the game. She's the the alternate Anya, basically. Anyway. She, pop o she pops open from a door where you get a short cutscene where no words are exchanged. Anya slams her back inside of the door and moves forward. So I've never had this interesting thing in a video game where we had what would basically be a boss encounter uh, just truncated into a no words exchange, slam the door. And then we kept moving in the same env game environment we started off in. And in a weird way, that makes these worlds more persistent to me to know that the that boss, that enemy, was behind that door. So anyway, that's why I created this link this week. Um, this is Breeze uh, hanging out <laughs> inside the door. I kind of did her leather suit by memory, and, it, and then I looked it up, and it wasn't the case at all. She has a scarf, and I added the scarf afterward. Also, you'll notice I'm, I waited a really long time for the ink to dry this week, and it still didn't. And so you get a lot of those weird marks from erasing my pencil. Uh, but anyway, I've just, I've never done that in a video game before. I've, uh, I like that. It just, so imagine if, we'll go, we'll go as simple as possible. We'll go, like, imagine Super Mario Bros., right? Imagine if you're just going around, around a level, Bowser pops out of a pipe, and you just close it, and then you keep moving on. It'd be like that, and you know, whoa, Bowser's in that pipe right now. Just makes the whole world real. I don't know. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating that. But I really liked that one particular moment. However, uh, let's look at your fan art, which is all pretty sweet. Here's a weird thing, chat. Uh, OBS doesn't let me 
drag and drop art into itself anymore. Now I have to add each image from like loading a file. It's really annoying now. Um, let me know if there's something I can do about that. If I can drag and drop again. Um, but here we go. Ooh, nice. I think we're going like backwards order then. If this is our most, if this is our top one. Excuse me. Uh, this is from Jake Boat, right? This is really cool. So here's what happened last week. Uh, I gave up. I entered the code for 99 health packs, and the game became 99 times more fun. Um, let me actually, I'm gonna need this too, aren't I? So here we see Anya, maybe this is metaphorical. She's hiding behind a pile of uh, health packs. Yeah, yeah, this is worth enhancing. Look at that, it's paintbrushes, you know? Trademark blue eyes. Definitely. Oh, at chicken brain underscore J. Yeah, cool. Uh, Ren the Unclean. Uh, in eight months in a row. Let me make sure Twitch alerts are up top. There we go. Boom. And I have to say, this week, I was a little worried that we wouldn't get any art. It was basically nothing for like the first four. Usually, like, we get one or two a day afterward. Uh, and I thought, like, Nobody felt inspired last week, but we got some really good stuff this week. Um, this comes to us from Youngster Skaymore. I have to admit, Youngster Skaymore, I'm a little disappointed that you decreased the size in which you write your name. Now it's in the lower right-hand corner, when I much preferred the trademark center large uh, signing of it. But I guess I would ruin what's happening here. We see Anya. I am Anya, one with the night. Wait, Anya, don't forget to save! I forgot to save two weeks prior to this one. Big mistake. All right. Oh, where's the signature signature? Maybe it's maybe it's like a, where's Waldo now? I'll show you this, the signature signature. Dang, look how we can enhance. There, right there. Boom. Just, maybe Youngster Skate Wars is trying something out. You know, maybe we'll go back to the big Youngster Skate Wars next week. Now this is highly unusual. We're gonna have to enhance this too, but I think you need to see it uh, as a whole first. So let's actually let's start here. So this is a sleeping security guard, uh, neat scum, by the way, the attributed artist, uh, sleeping security guard, but with one long eyeball. It spins around all the way, it's going it, twisting around her body up into uh, Anya. Uh, she's holding a health pack, which is great. Uh, and then you see the eyeball. That was because there was this guy who was sleeping who found me from very far away, and I was very frustrated. So thank you for depicting that. Helps explain what's happening there. Oh, this is cool. Now this is this is what I'm talking about, everybody. This won't be the last happy birthday art we see this week. There was a really weird room we went into last week. Uh, it was We were just in an office. And there was this happy birthday banner set up next to a photocopier. And then a burning trash can. Uh, there was no context given for why that was happening. Um, and so it makes me so excited to see it pop up in art this week. This is from Vex Chanu. Happy birthday. She says it, and then you can see the happy birthday banner. Cool lighting. This seems to be painted as well. Very, very cool. Kyle, why do you pop your peas? Because I like how it sounds. Feels good. Uh, this is also sick. This is CG. This is the gun we use, and I thank you, Rhombus, from Rhombus. I just, it reminds me of the art from uh, early Pokemon cards, when you would see, like, what Item Finder does, you know? Uh, basically, they would just depict a thing in the game in cool CG. Um, I love this. That's so cool. Good CG. I feel like you're probably, like, um... That's probably your job, right? Do you do stuff for CG TV shows and stuff? Like make props? It's cool. Jin, four, five, seven, six, eight months. Great artwork, I agree. It's really cool stuff this week. 
really cool stuff every week. I don't want to pretend like, oops, sorry, no, don't do that. Uh, 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 something bad just happened. Oh well, okay. <laughs> yeah, I do like the enhancing. I'll be fine in ten seconds. You'll definitely get to see your wife and kids tonight. Rated T for teen. <laughs> That's from Mark S. Rousseau. Look, last week I got very frustrated that I can't kill the bad guys. And that's on me. I mean, Anya just chooses to be a thief and not a murderer. Um, I guess it's just very frustrating that any time they pass out, they are fine in 10 seconds. That you cannot incapacitate the security guards from long. Uh, great art is always a great depiction of a frustration. See, this is more CG. This is, this is so cool. All right, let me, let me enhance this. Now this is actually an incredibly accurate uh, recreation of what that room looks like. Those pillars there, that weird Greek pillars on the sides, those are in the game. Um, Dumb Game Monday stolen. This comes to us from uh, Kenny Grevenberg. Now there's some pretty cool details here. Uh, you see a pre, uh, pre-final Bossman headshot. Like that's a headshot circa 2009, 2010 of Kyle Bossman right in there. Um, the banner was pretty cool. Uh, we see Easy Allies family photos. Enhancing even more. Yep, Easy Allies family photos. These bottles of wine on the copying machine, those are in the game itself. Um, and this right here, there's a <laughs> there's a CD. You can tell it says PlayStation 2 on the bottom. I am highly suspicious that's a Prism CD, DVD case. I think Prism might be back. <laughs> I think that might be a prism disc. I couldn't check uh, because I've given away the prism disc. It was one of the giveaways at the, at our meetup. Cool signature there too, Kenny Grevenberg. Um, cool CG. CG's cool. Um, so I don't. I no longer own Prism. I gave away every Dumb Game Monday season one uh, game at the meetup. It was one of our giveaways. It was cool. Rain Soul, eight months in a row. How do I send in art? Uh, just uh, tweet it at me, at Kyle Bossman. Uh, on Twitter. That's the easiest way to do it. Oops, we just did that one. See, again, it's just so cool to me that something I forgot about, I frankly played through the game, you know, turned off the PlayStation 3 and then forgot about it. Um, Is the GT stuff season one? No, season one of Dumb Game Monday was just year one. You know, uh, everything up to uh, our meetup. It started with, uh, shoot, a hamster game, G-Force. It started with G-Force. So G-Force, all the dumb games from G-Force up until what I was up, what I was playing in March. Um, whoa, look at this. Look at that, look at that. Uh, Thex Bam Bam. THX oh bam bam 12 months in a row made little hearts pop up for happy birthday it's not my birthday but that was cool um anyway this comes to us from neat proxy this is so cool um it's kind of like Anya chilling out and feeling the vibes of this weird scene uh there's a security guard down right there um which I, I like that detail too but cool cool atmosphere in this one really really dig that one sorry did I say neat proxy I think I did okay <laughs> um, <laughs> it was this was the moment I almost gave up. In fact, I think it, it was right. I did this. No, I, I died again after this. We cracked a safe, which is already super annoying to, to try to crack. Um, and I got it. I think I'm a third try, right? Um, but this was the second try when I finally got it, and then we got gassed, and then the way out said, "Sorry, bed, I'm locked now." Unattributed artist. I do want to draw attention to the background leg and how it's actually uh, hatched. I think that's a really cool, cool way to show a leg in the background where you want the stuff in the foreground to be solid black. Totally effective. I dig that. In fact, I might steal that for my own drawings someday. Cool. <laughs> okay, and this is our final one. This comes to us from at pick Jeremy. Um, Oops, nope, don't move that. There we go. 
So again, we see the cool happy birthday sign with a <laughs> case of prison in the trash. And then we had uh, Killian, our bad guy, saying, The following are the official sponsors of the Killian podcast for the month of May. Michael Kozachenko. <laughs> He's got a, like a pop guard over his microphone. Uh, that comes to us from at Pick Jeremy. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's just because of a dumb joke where we have to stop Killian's broadcast right now in the video game. But it sounded like podcast the first time she said it. And so in my own stupid riffing... I said we have to go stop his podcast. Okay. I think it's time to play this video game. Kyle, this game is absurdly uninspiring. Amazing work, everyone. I agree. Uh, that's what makes me so stoked, is to see people uh, finding inspiration in what ought to be uninspiring. Um, I just realized I might have to look up the cheat codes. So let me do that right now. Stolen cheats. Stolen cheats. Dude, Google is good. Google is very good. Okay. R1, L1, right. Okay. Alright, let's we'll start playing a video game. Uh, the Static Res Channel. 15 months in a row. E3 hype. Please, Nintendo. I need a new Metroid. On a game when you got Mario? I mean, on a year when you got Mario. You know, they could save Metroid for next year. Okay. I'm here. I'm connected. So I already loaded our save. We should be right where we left off last time. Yes. An elevator. Dude, that was sick. Cinematic. Hoist. Now let's see how we're doing on our inventory. Okay, so we still retained a lot of those things. We got 95 health packs. Platform. This is cool. Oof. This is way cool. I do. I wish that the game was just this. I wish that I never had to fight anybody. I think it's very likely we'll finish the game tonight. Having uh, 99 health packs has dramatically changed the pace at which I play through this you game. Need to get uh oh, that guard out of there. See if you can create a diversion. You need a diversion, huh? Okay, so what we know is that it's no in-game mechanic to cause that diversion. We need to just like go and trigger some stupid thing. We've learned that the hard way. Questing reinforcements, sir. Roger. Stay where you are. You learned that to Chris Hardwick. See, that door was green. I thought we'd be good. Oh, no, that's okay. You're fine, Andre. You're fine. I got a situation here. Send reinforcements ASAP. Check These guys have deep voices. So I think we're going to have to pick that door right here, I guess. Picking's fun. I don't mind picking. Just doing a little recon. We're safe in here. My spurs got swept. Oh, bummer. 129 to 115. At least they put up a game. 115 is really good. 129 is unreal. That's just... That's too bad. Okay. Waiting for the radar to turn blue. Or we're just playing shock 'em. Rock 'em, shock 'em on ya. Vent. What vent do you see? Is there a secret way in? Waste of time. All units, stand down. Okay. Kyle, any words on the Celtics comeback? Uh, yeah, good job, Celtics. 
You know I don't like the Celtics. You know exactly how I feel about that. Here's my target. Okay, so let's let him go a little deeper. Because this is the guy who saw me last time, I think. That guy right there. Requesting reinforcements, sir. Oh, man, he saw me again. Stay where you are. Whoa, hey, I choked you, dude. Space. Come out now. Come out now. <laughs> Has he said that before and I had it too quiet to hear it? Joe Town, 15 months in a row. Come out now. New rules. I don't get choked, bud. Okay. All right. Oh, man. It just sucks to really have to like wait for those two guys to not be looking. Oops. That's the wrong corner. Give those another try. Sidle. Sidle. L1? Mm, L2? No. Soldier, over here. Roger. L2 is whistle, by the way. Somebody give me a hand. Hey, Roger, I hate this game tonight. Their way. I have no patience for this tonight. Stay where you are. Oh my goodness. Yeah, alright, I'll see you again. You could all there. Has Jones's vibes been getting you more excited for E3? Sure. Uh... It has made me super happy to see Jones so happy. You know, it means a lot to him to be an E3 judge under his own company. And so I think that's pretty cool. Um... Feels good. Okay, so, uh, I don't know. This guy honestly looks out the window a lot. I don't think there's going to be a really good opportunity for me to go down the hallway. Did they do their Final Fantasy VII Remake panel yet? No, that is this weekend. I think there's, like, a divot in here I can hide in, right? Guess not. We'll study this guy's pattern. See, he still sees me. I can't see him, but he would definitely see us right there. He's still looking forward. Okay. That guy turns around. Great. Is the other guy turned around? We don't know. We don't know. Okay. See, that guy's still looking forward. Ah. <sighs> Still looking forward. He's still looking forward at this point. Can I assume he's turned around now? I think we can. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. And then we're just gonna have to shock this guy. Huh? What was that? No! That's on me. I pressed L2 instead of L1. Lock 
pick time, baby. This is a hefty lock, too. Sweet. He did not wake up. Kylie, bringing merch to FanimeCon. So, no, we're not, because Damiani warned us we're not allowed to sell merch at FanimeCon. You need, like, a special license or something. Look at the sky in here. It's cool. Cool room. Yeah, uh, I think you, you need to be special to sell stuff at Fanime. Okay. Now, what are we after here? Let's do some hacking. These are great. Check it out. Let's stay in contact. Oh, no. Got it. Hack complete. Alright, so I don't know what laser grid I just shut down. Feels good, though. I think there's only one way out of here. I think we're just going right back out. Alright. Dang, this room is cool. I really like this room. Alright, let's do sonar. Let's see how this guy's doing. This is actually a very nice practical use of the sonar. So... Yeah, now's our time. Wait. How about another step, bud? Nice, now's our time. Wait, what? What is this? Why is the Oh my god. Where'd he go? Uh. Huh? Who's there? Oh he's in Identify here. Identify yourself. He? Identify yourself. Alright, okay, alright. Come on in. I dare you to come in here. I dare you to. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Can you do a competition and give away... I think we might be able to. That's a Damiani question. Thank you, Kid Neo5. Okay. I think we're safe. Obviously, I felt this way before when it wasn't true. Gold snuff box? Is that a cocaine thing? Breath mitts. Is that like Brad Pitt in Inglorious Bastards? Is that a snuff box? But people have to pay to enter the competition. No, now you're out of the, the, the realm of legality. You officially exited the realm of legality. So it looks like this is the room we're going to come out of, actually. Oh, snuff is like chewing tobacco. Oh, okay. Snuff box. Son, don't you touch my snuff box. Who's been touching my snuff box? It was me, Dad. Sorry, man. It's okay. Um. Okay. Right, it looks like there's no other way up... No, Kyle. Stop whispering by accident. I think we're fine. Yeah. That looks like an exit instead of an entrance to me. So I think we gotta go back out there. Storm Crown, 15 months in a row. Dig it. Oh, I see. You're the guy in that room. Okay, and then the other guy is the other guy. Okay. Alright, we'll just hang around. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh... 
chewing tobacco isn't foreign to me. I guess I'm just not used to it being called snuff. It's weird. Who's going to Phantom May? It'll be myself, Michael Damiani, and then Easy Allies, two greatest fan anime fans. Fan base. Ben Moore and Brad Ellis. Whew, I thought he was going to open that door. Where'd you go, bud? see. Come on out. Come on out. Chat, I'm really stuck in this are. environment. Come on out. Check it out. I'm here. Let's Come out. Contact. I'm right here. Come out to fight me. Come out to fight me. See, look, there's a vent too. It's another exit. Oh, man. I turned off a laser grid down this hallway. Look, this guy's still out. There was nothing but an exit in that hallway. I'm pretty stumped here, Chad. I'll be honest with you. This guy's out. You all right, bud? Can I steal your stuff? What the? Oh my god. Stop gosh. or I'll shoot. I'll shoot. No, no. Is that you? What's your no. Hands in the air now. Over. Over here. No. Whoa. Okay. So now what do, what do we do? What do we do? Do we go back in here? Huh? The yellow arrow tells us where we're supposed to go. I kind of think, like, maybe back a bit. It doesn't kill the guard, only makes him stronger. Mmm. No. I went too far back, right? Lure him out does not work. We learned that d day one. Night one. Mm. Man. I don't think there's a good way down that elevator shaft. Is there a map button? Certainly. This is our situation. We will be able to open that door soon, but we can't currently. Break into elevator shaft in the upper levels. Infiltrate. Um... Check it out. Let's stay in contact. Stay in contact. I'll go back in the shaft. This is clearly the top of the elevator. We're not at a TV station, but we're surrounded by a bunch of satellites, so I think that's how we're going to broadcast something. We have a bunch of satellites. Hands in the air now! now. Yeah, stop. Check it out. Let's <laughs> Come out now. I feel like you got a little swing in. Whoa, that's just immediate. Turn off the alarms. Still pausing after the. Still shooting after the pause menu. Please, please calm down. How are you seeing me? You don't have a camera anymore. How are you seeing me? Huh. Stupid gun. Alright, so... 
I'm looking for maybe something else in here that I missed. There we go, baby. We did it. Try shutting them both down. One of our generators is shut down. Go and investigate. What? There we go. That lured him out. Come on out, bud. Let's do a little health pack. A little pack of Rooney. Oh. Men in here. Uh, affirmative. Back up on route. Lock the door on you. Hey, I heard something. All units, stand down. I swear I could see his flashlight in here with me. Ooh, that's a complicated one. Allies expand to the East Coast. 2025. Damn, there's nothing here. Which is closer than you think. Photo ID. Bingo. This will definitely come. Oh, hey. There she is. What? Dude, dude, dude. Game, you got problems. There she is. Oh my goodness. Hands in the air now. You gotta stop this. Game, you gotta. Game. What's the situation? There we go. There we go. There we go. Stop or I'll shoot. I hear something. Can you confirm? <laughs> I hear something. Can you confirm? You dorks. safe here? We're safe here. Cool, 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 cool. Nice, yeah, nice, nice. Ooh, oh, bad, bad. This is the worst I've ever done. It's cool. Ooh, ooh. Steel cut failed. Nice. Okay. Let's do a little better. Oh. We're starting here? Baby mode. This is a hard one. I really love it. This is my favorite hacking minigame. I wish I took it more seriously because that was really fun. Play like Time Splitters 3 for Fun Game Monday. Yeah, that's that's a cool pick. Um It's not next. And you know, I have like a list of like three games that come next. But uh I'm not opposed to it. Whereas normally I would just tell you like, no. Time Splitters 3 is a really interesting pick, actually.
credit card. I can't use this. Oh yeah, I'd be so annoyed with this if we didn't have 99 health packs. Now this is just like fun. Key pass, baby. Great. I mean, yeah, we're not gonna fight those guys. We're, we're good. Lasers. Anya, whatever you do, don't stand up. Actually, Louis, we haven't talked to him in a while. We know he's alive. I think he's gonna show up here in Alaska, but I can't not confirm. Miss you, Louie. sacrifice himself to stop the podcast. <laughs> it's the only thing they could do to redeem that character at this point. Oh, that sounded like Louie, actually. So Louie has been talking to us, hasn't he? I've just been ignoring him. environments in this last stage. Ketsu, we're absolutely using cheats. We put in a cheat to give us 99 of every item, and it made the game enjoyable. See something connecting these. Right, okay. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit. Nope. A little, uh. This? Oh, no, it hurts me. Check it out. Let's stay in contact. Don't you? Fine. No, we do a little bit of this. Got it. My bad. I hate when the music is too intense in games when the situation doesn't warrant it, like, we're, like right now. I hear you big time there. I think they're going for final stage vibes. Access. 
access past this point strictly. That's cool. It's cool you can read that. Yes, back to Alaska. Cool. They're just showing off at this point. Be able to access key security nodes here by cutting into those boxes. I reconfigured your EMF indicator to match the frequency of the security circuits. Cool, Fat Man boss fight. Let's go. Cut the boxes and set off vibrations in your gear. This is cool. I have Don't eyes on the hostile. <laughs> Almost got me. I have eyes on the hostile. There's three of them out here. Oh, this sucks actually. I was excited about this, like, this sucks actually. <laughs> you can punch me, but it won't interrupt my cool animations. So this is why, even with cheat codes, this game's kind of stupid. Moments like that. A moment like this. Idiot friend in the back. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. You know I got my hands in the air for you. Okay, let's go. Cut it up. all to just to do that. Okay, I'm back. Backtracking. <laughs> it's not quite Meryl bleeding out, but it's something. Back up on route. Baby. 
Shortcut, not permitted. Okay. I gotta figure out this puzzle a second time. Oh no. I'm gonna do this. Ouch. Ouch. Diz scroll. Diz crawl. Fifteen months in a row. Sorry, that took me two tries. Diz crawl. Fifteen months. I've been here the whole time. I think they might wake up when I steal. Based off what happened that one time. Ooh, this is the broadcast station. Nope, nope. Yep, you're dead. And then steal on that. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Is it gimme? I'll take it. <laughs> nice view. Thought you were scared of heights. Star Wars. Cool. Right. Chad is really not feeling the loop. Go on. It's funny. Oh. Stop or I'll shoot. Playing the song for Boss Me Wozniak. Yeah, it would drive me crazy. Anya, you have to hurry. It's part of the broadcast. I don't suppose you feel like getting out of the way. I don't she think is. so. This Let's ends breeze. tonight. Okay, then. Boss fight? Why the beep beep? <laughs> Not believe this decision to put a hacking game in the middle of the dramatic showdown with Breeze. That's so silly to me. Shootable. Shootable. I thought maybe shooting this thing would like drop something on the Breeze. She does not appear to be a target. She's throwing those shurikens at me.
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I get like a little bit like vibes of like the Olga fight on the tanker. You think maybe that you like shoot some of these things and like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can like, if we shoot them all out, the lights will go out and then I can do hack in the dark. Yeah, baby. Kojima inspired, kind of. Hack complete. Lights on. Okay, so now I can move up here. So I think we, I'm probably gonna have to shoot those things again. How would you even have the patience for this if you didn't have 99 of every item? You do not get a lot of ammo for this stupid electricity gun. We're at 38 already, and I start with 99. The chirping the whole time too. Cheat, 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 cheat. Cheat, 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 cheat. Ooh, I don't know. I lost track of that last one. Hark, Feral. Okay, 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 okay. Are there lyrics to this? <laughs> Let me get this weird S correct. No, they didn't even give me the weird S. Doesn't feel earned. I like boss fights that aren't just, you know, shoot the boss. I like those. Uh, this boss fight was about our rival, Breeze, throwing shurikens at us. And the only way we could think to stop her was not using our electricity gun, but to hack one machine that would take away the lasers that would allow us access to the other terminal that would slam forward the light display uh, presuming that for some reason Breeze had taken a moment to stop throwing shurikens and do some computer work. That's so... That's so funny. I... Oh. Alright, let's... Let's do this. Let's cross our fingers and hope that wasn't the last moment of the game. Maybe there's something else to do after that. Maybe that wasn't the end. Nice 
Snowinje. In tomorrow's election, the citizens of Ford City have a choice. You can choose the status quo, continuing a Louis? tradition of crime. I'm in, but I don't have a lot of time. The speech the already podcast. started. You can cast Where are you? For change. I'm right here, babe. Okay, now you're gonna need to isolate the outbound video feed. It'll say live in bold letters. Got it. Now what? Upload the video from your goggles. You'll need to do it manually. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to show you will motivate you to get down to those polls tomorrow. You know about the break-ins at the museum and my opponent's new prison. But what you don't quicker, know is quicker. that while Thomas Morgan continued to cower in fear, I took action. I rolled out a limited pilot program of my ID card system. Two days Master. later, my private security force commanded the thief responsible for these atrocities. In the live video I'm about to show, you will see this defiler safely confined Big mouth like you, on the other hand, gotcha, is Kimmy. quite replaceable. Cut! Cut! That wasn't on the air, was it? Was it? Podcast ruined. Yeah, I know, I know. I said I hate this city. But now that I think about it, it's more like a love-hate relationship. But there's something very comforting about consistency. You always know what to expect. So, that clown Morgan is mayor again. And everything's pretty much back to the way it was. Ah, uh, no one's any better off. Even <laughs> this cutscene frame rate. Right. But, it's not so bad. And if there's one good thing you can say about Ford City, it's that nothing ever changes. That's not on me for getting the wrong... <laughs> for getting the wrong idea, right? That's not on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. What an ending. It was just a jewel in her bosom. <laughs> oh man. Wow. The procreation ending, yeah. There was no need for a heart. They only made two games this and Peter Pan, The Legend of Neverland. I would totally play that. Isn't that a PS1 game? Oh, that's a little bit. Yeah, there were a lot of people on this project. I mean, this was a big budget game, I assume, when it came out. Thanks to everyone at Kraju, Side Recording Studio, David Rubens, and Michael Don. Michael Don. Hip Interactive. It just feels like featuring the voices of nice. Larissa Murray. Bob Sherman, Tom Clark Hill. You gotta get that John Schwab. Um, it didn't seem short on ambition, right? It seemed like a game that they wanted to make. They wanted to go all out and make their own entrapment game, which is kind of what we thought it would be. You got a bonus cutscene? No. It's tough. It's tough to place this game. You know what I mean? I, uh... Not available. What do I gotta do to unlock this concept art? 
You want me to beat the game without cheating? I don't think we had that one before. Cool. I don't think that guy made it into the game. He's cool. Six eyes. In fact, I think all the enemies that we ended up beating kind of just were normal dudes. Looks like, um, original Breeze was Anya. Weird, right? Here's the comic. I think somebody on Twitter showed me the comic, that there's an actual stolen comic. That would give us some context. Ooh, Forge City. Hawk Guard. I'm a Hawk Guard. Killian. Not available. <laughs> See, to me, that's... That's close to, like, Yo Yoji Shinkawa. You know what I mean? Like, it's... There's an element of trying to be an artist with this concept art. You kind of get the impression they really wanted Louie to be something. With just that image. I wish we could have explored the apartment. It only showed up in cutscenes. Night. Yeah, I think they're mad that I cheated. I think that's why we don't get all the concept art. Ooh, or maybe concept art is tied to the items we steal. I didn't even think about that. Turtle guard. Oh, so now that makes me think that Turtle and Hawk refer to their AI. And so when they're designing the game, uh, they're, you know, they're, they're uh, the way they act is based off of those stupid animals. Hawk Guard and Turtle Guard. That's all I have to go off there. Kyle, can you play original Xbox games? Most of them, yeah. I tried to play um, some SSX games, and for some reason, SSX games do not work on a 360. Nobody knows why. And so, yeah, I don't have the, the means to play original Xbox games on an original Xbox, but I can play them on 360. Yeah, I gotta rebuy those, which reminds me, I gotta get the PS2 version of those. Um, okay, let's do closing thoughts on Stolen. Uh, stealth games are super hard. Stealth games are hard to make fun, and they're hard to make interesting. And I think story is super important in stealth games. Um, yeah, we've seen it. We've seen it. Um, and here we have context. You know what I mean? Like we have... I don't know if we cared about the story, but we knew what our character's name was. You know what I mean? We kind of knew what her deal was. I, don't, I still don't know what Anya's about. <laughs> I know she likes to steal rubies. Um, she doesn't like to kill... She likes to steal family photos, but we don't really know what she's about. Um, really, we were kind of strung along in the plot, and so I would tell the writer, don't do that. Make Anya the one making decisions. Anya is the one controlling fates, other than just doing what Louie tells her to do the entire game. Um, unless that's the point, like in Metal Gear Solid 1, you know? But uh, I don't think that was the point here. Well, maybe the story was about Louis. I mean, he was the last person talking in the end. Maybe the, the game is supposed to end and we're supposed to say, Wow, Louis is really a lucky guy. <laughs> he gets to ride a motorcycle with Anya. Pretty cool. Who knows? Uh, I think they're going to be fine. Obviously, they want it to be a franchise. Obviously, they want to make more games. Obviously, Breeze shows up. Anyone who falls off a cliff and you don't see the splat is usually alive, right? Um... The game was so much more enjoyable when I had 99 health packs and as many shots on that gun as I wanted to. 
The game does not reward you for taking your time. It does not reward you for trying to not get seen because people wake up so quickly and the, the checkpoints are brutal. And so, yeah, the game became a lot more playable once we entered Jin Chi codes, and I kind of wish I did that from the start. Um, in the PS2 version, sorry, I just saw something interesting in chat. Um, there appears to be a bug which prevents you from obtaining an A rank based off the US dollars value of items stolen. It is it is possible to get the A rank for the final level, but only B for the first three. Is that because of a conversion? I wonder. That'd be, that'd be a funny mistake to overlook. Uh, chat, I know Prism has cheats. Prism was re beyond redemption. I like this game much more than Prism. Uh, Prism, every single level was the exact same dumb thing of just bringing plants back to life by killing the enemies who surround it. Even if I'm invincible, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> can't go back cannot ever go back to prism it's gone i gave it away um okay are you a fan of stealth games not too many metal gear solid big time but like splinter cell no um i kind of need a crazy context to get into it you know i kind of need metal gear solid boss fights and scenarios and environments to really care to hide because hiding is inherently boring you know um, stop it, stop it. Uh, we can do, let's do, let's do some Sonic for a crunch. We're done a little early, so we can do some Sonic. Uh, Shadow Marba, 15 months in a row. Uh, final grade for Stolen. Two point four. But, uh, I definitely, you know, we played through it. I like Stolen more than I like Prism. I like it more than I like uh, that dinosaur game, the Dinosaur Battles game. I like it more than... What was it? Beowulf? So, you know, Stolen... There's still good stuff in Stolen, but there's just a lot of obviously bad stuff. Um, let me stretch out Elgato. Let me get you back into shape, bud. Burr. Oh, nope. Not like that. Bert, no. How about like that? Bert, no. How about... Oh my goodness. Oh god, that work with me, bud. How about... Bert? How about... How about... Bert? <laughs> El Gato is misbehaving tonight. Okay, how about... There we go. And then how about a little of this? Okay. Uh, it wasn't El Gato, it was the wireless keyboard. Elgato does not deserve the blame for that. And then we'll just move webcam above on top of that. And let's do some Sonic. Okay. Quick game. Mm -hmm. That was fun. So yeah, we'll do uh, next Monday. I think I'll be here next Monday. We'll do a uh, fun game Monday. We'll transition back. We'll flop forth, back and forth for each new game. I will, of course, um, allow you to vote on whether or not you think Prism belongs in the Dumb Game Monday, uh, Dumb Pantheon of Immortal Excellence. Uh, that's not my call. It's my call if I skip on the game, but um, it's totally your call. By the way, there's some really good stuff here. All of these deserve streams. Every single one of these. Yeah, Prism I, I made the executive decision on. It's not getting in. <laughs> but I will definitely let you vote. Remember, we need a 66% vote to get uh, into the Pantheon. Here we go. Breath of Fire 4 will not be a stream. I'll just play it on my own. Uh, a text-heavy RPG, I would much, much prefer to play on my own than to have to stream and like do all the voices and everything. Here we go. Ooh, crack the 
back. How much would this suck if this demo was one of those demos you can only play 20 times? I would never be able to come back to it. down a little bit but I like hearing Sonic now last time I did this someone told me that I press square too much I disagree but I'll try to press square less on this one yeah no no they're telling me I'm going the same speed right there than I would be if no no dude no dude kind of want to restart already practice run no, so I really don't think you go the same speed if you just hold square. You gotta keep it pumping. Mm, see, actually, no, we're going full speed now. I'm, I'm holding square here. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So maybe you just have to work up to it, but then once you're in, you're in. Got it. Thank you, person who told me that one time. Faster to miss that rainbow right there. Where does that felt on this one? There we go. Doing good. And this one too. Nice. Nailed it, bud. Ooh. Little slops. You don't want to get those 10 rings. Don't want to hit that guy. Oh. Oh. Cool, yeah, you don't have to mash it there. Normally I'm mashing for this part. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I should have hit that pad. Okay, there's another really hard shortcut. Yeah, I missed it. Ooh, Ooh I bungled that big time. That's a bungalow. Not bad, but dude, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Cool. Classic Sonic run. I'm not as good at Classic Sonic. Uh, this is my dog, Kyle. We beat it. We have officially beaten Stolen. This game aged really well. Yes, it has. It's a cool game. I should do Sonic Unleashed for Fun Game Monday. I know you wouldn't have it. I know that would make you all so mad. It truly is a cool game. I remember playing this demo on my cousin's shiny new PS3 Slim and being so jealous. That's so funny. Do we get to play Sonic Unleashed? This is a botched run too. Dang. Oh no, that's a restart, that's a restart. A little too much, we're adding half seconds. Oh, again, I jumped too early that time. It's possible to hit uh, all three of those with one guy. But normally I just do bowl one guy into the other. Two hits.
Can someone tell me why just the demo? Because uh, when this demo came out, I played it so much. I played this one level so many times. And then, you know, when Sonic Unleashed itself came out, I played through it once. Though you'll see, um... If we ever do a full playthrough, they add incentives to replay through levels. Nice, Sonic, dude. Restart. You're up. Here we go. Yeah. You know what I totally forgot about right here is that the L1R one. Why has that never been a part of my strategy? Okay, so as you can see right there, going through the rainbow is really bad for us. We had to do a whole extra hit. That adds just another half second. We don't have time for this stuff. We simply don't have time. And there's like two jumps on this. It's safer to do a big jump but it takes more time. So you want to do the soft jumps over the spikes. Oop, like that. Yeah, you don't want to hit that rainbow. That's too much time. There we go. Got it that time. Oops. Uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of interesting to fail at this stuff, so you can you realize all the moments where you can fail on a run, you know? Ooh, oh, brutal. So for some reason, the first robot ran into the second one on that one. So I had to hit the third little robot. Weird. Man, that Sonic game is weird. Ooh. Why are you playing that, dude? Nice. And I want to jump like here. Nice, baby. That was the shortcut I was trying to pull off that other time. Oh, I wanted it too bad. Okay. We're still 219. Not bad. <laughs> Despite our mistakes. It's faster if you drift the entire time during the behind the back portions. You'll get significant speed boost. I don't know what that means. When do we drift? Are you getting Sonic Forces on Switch or PS4? Mmm, PS4. No S rank, no. If you're going for speed, you don't go for S rank. S rank is basically beat all the enemies. So it's like, no, I want to go fast. Um, yeah, there's no point in S rank. What are the other two good final boss episodes? Um, the one where I'm having an anniversary date with the PlayStation 4. And... The one with Buban Muneda. Okay. Yeah, we can do regular old Sonic. I'm not good at it. I played this game for the first time in like 2006 or 2007, maybe. Just drift back and forth rapidly, like snaking in Mario Kart. Whoa, really, Taco? Are you dead serious? Hmm. Interesting to know. Yeah, Holy Angel, we finished Stolen and now we're just kind of goofing off because it finished a little early. Single player. New game. 
You must be signed in to post score to their scoreboards. That's fine. I can barely hear it. Dude, this is a good game. Just look how this looks. Holds up. Wow. This is the first one. You look at Super Mario Brothers? Looks like trash today. I see better art design when I blow my nose. But this looks fantastic. Look at the depth of the ocean. It exists on multiple planes. Like, kids were seriously on NESs at this time? Seriously, dude? You're gonna play on a little Nintendo Entertainment System? Please. Oh, bummer. Come on, Sonic. You have to do this? I don't think he has Spin Dash in one, does he? Let me triple check. No, that's a thing. Oh, boy. Oh, buddy. What's the shield even for? <laughs> Look at the eyes that just bobble on that guy. Yeah, no spin dash in one. Dang, this is a cool video game. Look how it looks. Ahead of its time. a hard time getting up hills for sure oh animals I'll rescue you it's kind of funny you have an incentive to kill every enemy because they're secretly animals but like you don't want to kill every enemy oh bummer you can like press down and attack right I guess not yeah let's get some momentum sonic there you go Nope, Sonic. Dude, there you go. Nice. I am invincible. As long as... Oh, I guess I'm not invincible. I want to run through the halls of my high school. I want to scream at the top of my lungs. I just found out this old thing is a real world. Man, what a... That's a dumb song. That was on the radio. That man became a successful musician with that tune. So is this a good way or a bad way, chat? Sonic's about exploring, but I don't know. Oh, bummer. Bad way. Just a line we gotta rise above. I just can't wait till my 10 year reunion. You know he didn't go to his 10-year reunion. Didn't do it. But you know that that song is sincere. That John Mayer really did really want to go to his 10-year reuni reunion and show everybody who he became. Hey, everybody. I'm super funny now. <laughs> I'm like a super funny, natural, cool guy. <laughs> There's like no part of me you could actually make fun of right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, dudes. What's your life like? <laughs> I think it's a hundred rings. You finish every stage with a hundred rings. You uh, you're on your oh there it is so it's 50 you just got to finish with 50 to get back in, in that big boy okay so here's a comment from chat from half man half queso 
Do you, did you hear he wants to go to, he's going into politics? Yeah, he wants to be John Mayer. So I don't know if that's like a, a late night talk show joke or if you're being for real. Is John Mayer going into politics? He will get the votes. Nobody will be able to stop themselves. Everybody will just end up voting for John Mayer. They won't be able to tell you why. It just will happen. We're all going to vote for John Mayer. It's predestined. Sorry, everybody. At least we're not the people he went to high school with, you know? Good adjustment, Kyle. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, I see you, Secret. Dang, Th Sonic is so cool. This game really is. They're just like, go wherever you want, man. We have multiple paths for you. Not a lot of rings on this stage, though. We're close. We're close to 50. I really want to do a bonus stage before we end the stream. Three more. One, two, three, four, five. Great. We're good. I'm gonna approach cautiously. Or is this a boss fight? This is a boss fight. There's no ring here for us. All right. Boss fight. Here goes nothing. Robotnik in town. Hey, Sonny. I'm gonna hit you with this big old ball. Oh, dear. You're hitting me instead. How dare you, Sonny? That's fine. I can call my rings back. I got him back. What's the strategy here? I guess that. It's not easy. Tough boss fight. Boop, 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 boop. Freyas! Hey, guys. You doing okay? Yeah, it's Freyas, Sonic, please. Um, okay. Any idea how? Oh, thanks, Sonic. Damn, Kyle, I want those little rabbits free. Just press the button. That one up there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kyle, are you surprised by Red Dead Redemption 2's delay? Absolutely. I, for one, did not see it coming. You know, we obviously we chat about it. Um, I did not know. Ooh, <laughs> trophy. Clear green. <laughs> yeah, truth be told, I downloaded this for a segment for Live with YouTube Gaming that we didn't end up doing. Where we were going to like basically show a bunch of idle animations. So I said, hey, Sonic's got a cool idle animation. I'll show it to you. And so I downloaded it just to get a Sonic's idle animation. Cutting room floor, there it is. Look how good that is. That's like the original idol. Right? What predates Sonic? Who did this before Sonic? Like, that's that's innovation right there. He's so impatient. Because he just wants to go fast. Defumi, three months in a row. Hey, I should end the stream. We should end, right? Nah, we got 15 minutes. I mean, look at this stage. Genesis flexing right now. Sir showed eight months in a row. Probably Sonic on Master System. I think this actually predates the Master System version. Oh, okay. You gotta be a little tighter. This stage reminds me of a PC game. Like Prince of Persia. 
I don't like the look of this one as much. <laughs> the PC looks. All right, we push this off into there. Shield now. Oh, nice, Sonic. I feel like I'm playing a cartoon right now. Yeah, you fooled me. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You can't predict them all. Okay. Oh! Trick me. Oh, you tricked me. Ah, oh, well done. Yep, you got me. You cost me. Dang, this is fun, isn't it? Oh, you tricked me again. Game over. Alright, now we can end the stream. <laughs> oh, alright. What else we got? Do we have any more demos? So good, so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Alright. 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 Let me see if I can do a multiplayer match of Red Faction so I can show you how to dig tunnels. Sonic 2. I don't actually own it. Ubisoft Tetris. That might be fun. I don't like it. I really don't like Ubisoft Tetris. Yeah, isn't it weird my PS3 clock is off? Who knows why that happens. Warning. If you have a history of epilepsy. Press the PS button. Gotcha, buddy. Okay, so let's go to multiplayer. Player versus bots. Player. Accept. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, man. I want to stream this so bad, but I can't get it to win a vote. Warlords. Yep. Number of bots. No bots. Okay. Advanced controls. Analog sticks. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so maybe we don't have to do too much there. Fires all on. Okay. All right, we got it. I, just, I remember having to, like, do stuff in there. Back when I probably played with my friend. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Cool. Okay. Oh, baby, look at this game. Okay, here we go. This is all we need is the rocket launcher. So how do I switch weapons? Oh, L1's jump. It's not a bad jump button. And this was the see-through walls gun? Um, yeah, there you go. Dude, sick. Sick, 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 sick. I love this game. Look at this. The smoothness. Okay. So the way my friend and I would play this level is we would have our own sides, right? And you could not leave. You could not leave the, your base. Um, dang, this is a sick map, too. You were not allowed to leave that door. And so you were allowed to tunnel through. So let me start my tunnel right here. Excuse me? How about this? There we go. Yes. Sure. Oh my god, this feels so good. Okay. So we're tunneling in. Digging our tunnel. Yeah. Can you believe this? Matt McCarthy used it three months in a row. Okay, I think we can actually start our turn right about there too. Mm-hmm. Miner is dead. Cool. It's okay to die because you, you need the ammo to respawn anyway. Hmm. Well, it looks like it hasn't yet. Okay. Yep, there it is.
This is so cool. Oh yeah, PS3 is warmed up right now. <laughs> the PS3 is like, hold on, what are you, what are you asking me to do right now? You're digging a tunnel in a multiplayer map? This is the fan is blasting. Kyle, I love you, buddy, but I can't do it. There's no way. And then I wonder if we can actually start curving in at this point. Oh, too early. Too early. We have a window, though, into the other bay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's too cool. All right, all right. We'll go collect some more rockets. Cool cave, man. Cool cave. Oh, caves. You know I love caves. So let's go up to the top. Let's find out where our hole is. But we won't be able to see it. So check this out. I think you can even, like, shoot out this chunk. Boom. Yeah. I'm gonna take multiple shots. Okay. We're going back in. Back into my cave. And as you can see, there's a little readout of my dead body on the bottom of the screen. Oh, it's so cool. Alright. Here we go. Okay. Tunnel in it. 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 Oh, yeah. I curved way too soon. So let's go straight here. It's digging in. How's this even possible in a video game? Press fire. Yeah, great. Back in my cave. So I think where we are now, we can start turning in right again, too. Bullfroggy just subscribed. Thank you so much, Bullfroggy. Yeah, yeah we can start curving in for sure. Oh, jump. Jump, bud. Let's make that a little smoother. It's killing me a little bit. Okay. Oh, that'll kill us. Back up a little bit. There we go. Oh. Mm. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh, Yogi. <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> why? Why boo boo suddenly? Yogi. <laughs> Uh, Yogi. <laughs> okay, all right, we're back in business. <laughs> What's the matter, Boo Boo? <laughs> okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so we have a floor. Is it the top floor, or, or is it the second story? What do we think? Hmm. Yogi, I think you made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'm lost in the cave, for sure. too deep maybe this is so sick my own personal cave all right let's go back by the way chat is this like weird is this a weird thing to stream just like making a cave in red faction oh look how sick my cave is cool 18 rockets baby It 
I don't think you turn the cave enough. I think you're right. All right. We'll turn in more once we get to this point. Bobo, leave me alone. Okay, Yugi. <laughs> oh, there we are. There we go. Yeah, we're in, baby. We're in top floor. Cool. Cave complete. Oh, come on, Bobo. And there's our window. So then it goes all the way in through there. Oh, that's so cool. Caves. Yeah, if I had to write the review for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it would be 9.9, .9, not enough caves. Caves are so essential. So I think we're going to have to, this is bugging me. So I think for our cave, we're actually, we're going to go to the second, second story, second floor. Ooh, okay. You say so. Back in the cave. Let's let's actually start the other half of that cave from the other side of the map, which we're at. No, okay. Let's go over there. God, God, my legs! Ouch! Okay. Bullfroggy just subscribed. Thank you so much, Bullfroggy. Huh? I really expected to see my cave over here. Do you connect? Hello, do you connect? I asked you a question, do you connect? Oh no, the floor extends too far. Arr. Hmm. Oh, wrong floor, you're right. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Hello, do you connect? There's my cavey. There's my cave. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And now I'm gonna go all the way back. Oh, Yogi. <laughs> Your cave is perfect, Yogi. <laughs> it is. Oh, that's a good cave. Cool, cool cave. And I'm pretty sure you can like, you can destroy the walls. That's my boy, that's my big boy. Cheap, cheap. So like, check this out. You see that pillar there? It's temporary. Boom. Whoa, dang, that splash. But then you can see, like, check that out. It's gone. I love that so much. I couldn't love it more. Can you destroy the floor? Nope. The floors are permanent. And I think they did that for game balance reasons and not technical limitations. See, the our cave has a window. We can spy on the enemies from in here. With our rail drivers. Okay. Spying on the enemies. Great. Then we can also sneak into their base from here. Top floor or bottom floor. Actually, I'm pretty sure top floor is off limits now. And now we're in the enemy's base. It's so cool. Your dumb dead body, dude.
Okay, everybody, that's got to be the end of the stream, right? Yeah, that's 10 p.m. Thank you for letting me sh humoring me here for letting me show this off to you. It's fine. It's a cool game. I see that window. I see your cave. Some bears hibernating in this cave. All right. Okay, okay. I can't stop playing this. I love caves too much. Look at this cave. Okay. All right. This this used to be a stolen stream. This used to be Dumb Game Monday. Okay. Um, that's it, everybody. So uh, next Monday we will be playing a new game. It'll be it'll revert back to Fun Game Monday. Uh, however, we will need to begin that stream with some final fan art for Stolen, and then also I guess we actually don't reveal whether it gets into the uh, Pantheon until the next dumb game. So we'll save that vote for later. Mm. URL 6. What a weird code for a rocket launcher. Tomorrow is the Hall of Greats ceremony for a group stream night. That is when each of the easy allies uh, selects a game <laughs> touchscreen, uh, selects a game that they think is one of the greatest games of all time. They uh, give a five-minute speech for that game, and then we have a five-minute mm, debate, cross-examination, I called it, uh, to play devil's advocate of, like, maybe that game isn't so great. Um, and then at the end of the night, we make a vote, and we all vote on our top three choices of who sh deserves, who belongs in the Hall of Greats, and then hopefully two are ahead. If not, we go to a tiebreaker, and then our patrons decide uh, who will win. It's very exciting. It's, it's cool. It's cool to... Uh, get us talking about what actually makes a great game great. Because, you know, one of my least favorite things is the untouchable games. The games where it's just, mm -mm, I'm sorry, you can't say that game is bad. You know, because you can say any game is bad. Just like we can say any game is fun, on the reverse side, any game can be bad. Um, and so I do. I like having to make a game earn its way into the Hall of Greats. feels fun. So that's a fun stream. Uh, again, that's tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on Twitch. Um, I guess I should promote our Fanime panel this weekend. Um, we're talking about our hopes and nightmares. Our, our dreams and nightmares. Our hopes and fears for uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. So that'll be cool, too. Um, yeah, I'll be going to that. Shoot, that's that's this week. Yeah, I yeah, got some work to do, don't I? Um, I will be there, Absolutely. Um, yeah, check out patreon.com slash easy allies to see how you might support the easy allies. I got I put up um, a stretch goal last week, late last week, for a weird web series I want to make called Box Peak. We hit our stretch goal, um, but there's no saying about whether we'll... There's a, it's always good to have a cushion because some every single month we lose money. So uh, that's a 44K, $44,000 a month. And that forty-four thousand dollars is not for Box Peak, uh, two thousand of which is I'm over promoting it. Um, anyway, that's the thing worth checking out. Patreon.com/slash Easy Allies, uh, EasyAllies.com to see our schedule and your time zone, not just the streams we're doing, but the other shows we do, the other podcasts we do, reviews, upcoming reviews you'll find on there. There might be one that Jones may have just finished editing. I saw some stuff popping up on my phone. That might be coming soon, at least. Rosa Mune, eight months. Thank you so much. Um, that's all I have to promote. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Love and respect. I will hope to see you tomorrow. And if not, next Monday for a fun game. Here's the thing. Even when I'm playing a fun game, I still get annoyed a lot. You know? <laughs> I mean, I'm just in a, like a, a cranky video game player. Maybe just I'm always cranky. Who knows? I wasn't cranky with these caves, I'll tell you that much. That was pure joy. Okay, thanks everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to mute my microphone and we're going to look at the Pantheon. Um, there it is. Okay, cool. And then is that set up too? Nope. One moment. The tech team did not show up today. All three of them just said we're sick. Sorry, Brett. It's like, all right. Okay. All right, everybody. See you around. Bye.